thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check out this video. My name is Victoria and we're called Super Geeked. We celebrate everything we get super geeked about and also people around us, what they get super geeked about. So one of the things I get super geeked about is reselling. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and most recently Mercari. I've been reselling for a very, very long time, basically since high school, so 25 years ago. It's gonna tell you how old I am. But I only have been reselling clothing full-time for the last year. Today makes my one-year mark, so I'm really excited about that. If you've ever watched any videos on my channel, you've seen me open some of the Thread Up Rescue Boxes. The only thing is the only kind that I've ever purchased is the designer box. So if you don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is the largest online consignment store and they have these things called rescue boxes that a lot of resellers purchase. It's items that either were rejected from being sold on their website or their items that they had on their website that didn't sell. And so they put them into these rescue boxes and they're essentially a big mystery box for the purchaser, which would be me. So in a video I have coming out soon, I return for the first time to the Goodwill outlet, AKA the Goodwill bins with a group of my reseller friends. We drove about an hour to the closest bins to our area. So one of the people who went with me to the Goodwill outlet was my friend, Alicia. You've heard me mention her here on this channel. If you have watched any of my videos, she's over at Murray Life on YouTube and on Instagram. She is also a reseller and she alerted me during our trip that the ThreadUp shoe boxes were available. Now, like I said, I've only ever purchased the ThreadUp designer box so I kind of hesitated hmm, do I want to get one they're $90 and you get 15 pairs of shoes and like I said it's a mystery so you could get some stuff that are duds or you could get some things that are really great and valuable I've seen some awesome boxes I've seen some terrible boxes so I hesitated a little bit, but after she purchased hers and I found out another friend of ours, Jesse over at Gorgeous, had gotten a box, I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and get one too. I mean, I really don't have anything to lose. It's 15 pairs for $90, so I'll just go ahead and take the gamble, what the heck. I did purchase a box and we decided that since Alicia and Jesse, and then also another friend of theirs, Donna, also got a shoebox that we would do a joint video, the four of us, sort of as a who got the better box and a comparison so that you can see out of four boxes that were purchased at the same time on the same day, the differences in the boxes. So hopefully we all got good boxes. Spoiler alert, I already opened my box and normally I open my thread up boxes as a surprise, but I wanted to be able to share comps with you. So I went ahead and opened my box. And um, so I'm gonna show you what I got now. Okay, right on top, the first pair of shoes I got are these um, Chelsea booties. So they're like a Chelsea boot style, but they're a booty because they're short but they are suede and they have this rubber sole. They, um, I have not cleaned any of these shoes yet. I just took them out of the box just to look up comps. So um, these are actually by a brand that I didn't know. So there's the logo. It's called, they're called Johnson and Murphy. And actually I was really surprised. So these are called the Brie Chelsea Booty and they are leather uppers. Um, and then they have this a little elastic piece here. They did retail for $198. And so I am gonna go ahead and list them for 50. Uh, the comps on these, the solds were really good and there aren't a whole lot listed on Poshmark. So I'm interesting to, interested to see how these do. Okay, and then right on top, I was very pleasantly surprised to see these. These are the Tory Burch Sally Wedge. They have uh, this faux wood wedge and their leather, and then they have the Tory Burch logo, and they're in really good condition. I mean, I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. The interior has a little bit of dirt um, that I'll clean up, but if you look at the bottoms, the sticker's still on there. These are size eight, and there's not very much wear. So I don't believe that these were worn very much. I was very excited to see these Tory Burches because I know every Tory Burch I've sold um, 
I've had a really good return on my money. These Sally Cream wedges retail for $2.95. I'm gonna go ahead and list them at $1.25 because they are in such good condition. Um, and then of course I'll take offers and make offers from there. So far with the first two pair, you can see that I already am liking this box, um, especially because like I said, I paid $90 for 15 pairs of shoes. So two down, two so far. I like okay these next ones definitely need some cleaning and brush you can see a discoloration right there but I can definitely clean these um, but these are from the Zara basic collection so um, and they are dirty on the bottom out of all the shoes I got these were probably the most worn of the shoes um, I'm still gonna try to clean them up and hopefully Fingers crossed that they turn out nice uh, because the comps actually were really good on these. They have the leather ties that go around the ankle and I'll try to pop up a picture so you can see what the, the stock photo looks like of the shoes. So the Zara tied leather wedges retail for $89. I'm gonna list them for 40 if they clean up okay. Um, if they don't clean up okay, I might list them for a little bit less, but I think that's a good starting point. Okay, next shoes are a brand that I never really pick up, um, but other people do. A lot of resellers pick up this brand, and it is Ann Taylor. It's not Loft, it is Ann Taylor, but these are these cute little kitten heel tortoise shell slingback. They are a size 7. They don't have tons of wear on the bottom. Again, I'll clean these up, but they have the slingback style with the tortoise shell, which is really pretty. Comps for these were really good and they're in great condition. I mean, like I said, they just need a little cleaning, which I don't mind doing. Uh, these retail for 128 and again, the comps are super on these, so I'm gonna list these for 50. Okay, these are a brand I don't pick up either. They're Gap, but you guys, these are leopard print calf hair sneakers. Uh, the calf is in great condition. The bottoms look good. They just need a little bit of cleaning, which again, I'm going to do anyway. The insides probably have the most wear out of them, but you can very clearly still see the gap. Um, these didn't retail for a lot because they're gap, but they have sold a lot on, on Poshmark. So these uh, retail for 69. I'm going to list them for 35. And I do think that they will sell because they're a cute style. And if I had to pick out a gap sneaker to buy, to resell, I certainly would have picked these up. So I was really happy with those. Also, I don't expect everything in this box to be worth tons of money. And so it's okay to have some lower end brands, especially if they're cute styles, that makes everything okay. Okay, you guys, the next thing I have are these Michael Kors sandals and they look brand new with the exception of the bottoms. So there's no wear to the leather. This is called the Holly Knot Sandal because of the knot here, and it comes in different colors. Um, this color is called Cognac. It does have the Michael Kors logo right here. Uh, they have black ones. They have ones that are made of rope, but these are leather. They, like I said, they're in great condition. These retailed for $120. I'm gonna list them for 50. I've had a good, um, experience with Michael Kors sandals around the $50 price. So I'm going to go ahead and list these for 50, especially because they're leather. And um, I think that's a good starting point. So I don't sell a lot of sneakers, but I did have a pair of sneakers in here and they're in great condition. This is the Ciccone Ever Run Triumph. And from what I could find out online, these are not made anymore and they're um, a favorite shoe of some runners. And so I was excited because a lot of times when these sorts of shoes, somebody, you know, people have their favorite shoes, especially for athletic activities. Um, and then if they're sold out, you can't get them anymore. And if you can get them, they're worn. So it's nice that these are in great condition. They have a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but I'm gonna again, clean those up. I don't think they were worn a lot because a lot of times with running shoes, you can really see um, a wearing of the treads and you don't really see that on these. These are a US size eight and a half. The Triumph sneakers originally retailed for 120 and comps are really good on these. I'm gonna start them at 50. I'll probably get somewhere around 30, $35 for these. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna start high, I always do, um, and then end up taking offers, so. Okay, now for some shoes that I don't think are gonna get me a lot of money. Um, and, but I'll still list them because they are still cute shoes. These are a brand called Mix Number no. Six. I think they sell them at DSW. Uh, they have this strap that goes across right here. So that's really cute. And then it's got like a, 
I think it's faux suede. Yeah, so it's got this faux suede um, on one side and then this clear panel on the other side. The bottoms look good. So overall, they're in good condition. So I definitely think I'm still gonna list them but not expect to get tons of money from them. They only retail for 80, I'm gonna list them for 25 and just try them out. If they don't end up selling, that's okay because I have enough shoes in this box so far that I already know that I'm gonna make my $90 back and make a profit. So I'm fine with getting a couple duds. Okay, the next uh, pair I probably will not list. Uh, these are by the brand Blowfish. They're not a very great brand. I've actually bought some flats for myself that were really cute from this brand, but they're a very inexpensive brand. I think they may be sold at like Sears or JCPenney's. If I do try, I'll probably list them for $15. Try to get $10. I don't know. It just will depend on if I feel like it's worth photographing, cleaning, storing for a $10 profit. But then again, you know, somebody might want them. Um, they just aren't don't retail for a lot, so they don't resell for a lot either. But they are cute. I mean, I like this taupe color, and but they're definitely made out of like cheaper materials. Okay, these next pair of shoes I know nothing about, and I'm not even sure they're women's. They kind of look like they're men's, but uh, they are by a brand called Illoon. If you can see that, it's I L L U N E. There's a little moon. Let's see if you can see it better. Yeah, I-L-L-U-N-E, and it has like some little crescent moons. Um, it is in a size 39, so I don't, I couldn't find anything about this brand. I did a lot of research and um, it doesn't feel like leather. The only thing that's throwing me off is there's an eye on the zipper pull. And normally if you see with more expensive brands, higher end brands, you will see their logo or information on their hardware and so that makes me think that maybe there is something to these maybe they're just like a european brand um, but i was not able to find anything so i'm not really sure uh, there's no markers in the inside so at this point i don't know if i'm going to list them i don't know what i'm going to list them for so these are a big question mark okay some more shoes that i think i can make some money on these shoes actually surprised me with the comp. So they're Topshop and I do like to sell Topshop. I do have good luck with Topshop because they have very cute styles. These are called the Whisper Crossover Wedges. So they buckle up here. They have a little sling black, sling black, have a little sling back and then they have the crossover in the front and they have this really sweet suede with the uh, espadrille. Um, the bottoms look good, just need to be you know cleaned up a little bit but surprisingly the comps on these are really good. So these sold for about $84. I'm gonna list them for 50 because of the other comps, uh, especially this color seems to do really well. So um, we're gonna try them out and just see how they do. Um, I can always lower the price if the price is too high and that's okay with me. All right, we're getting further down in my box. Next up was a brand that I, again, did not know, but was surprised by. So they're these really, cute little artisan shoes. They have little flowers and cutouts. They have this metal here and they're really cute style, very uh, European. You can tell here's the Riker name on the bottom. They're in a size 39. Here is the logo on the inside. So I wasn't sure if these were vintage, um, if they're newer, just artisan shoes or what but uh, I could tell they were leather and they're super cute and different. So these actually resell really well. They retailed for about $115 and I'm gonna list them for 65 because there have been a lot of solds on Poshmark and for a really good amount. So I was very surprised about these. One of the great things about these boxes is you're sort of forced to learn about brands that you've never heard of that you might not normally pick up or take the time in the thrift store to research because time is money and having to research every little thing is hard. So a lot of times we stick with brands we know. So I like these boxes because they get you to research brands you've never heard of. And so far in this box, I have a lot of brands that I had not really known a lot about the resale value. They're sort of out of my comfort zone. And so I'm really digging that I have found some brands that resell for a lot. Okay, so the next item isn't too exciting. They are some coach sandals, they're wedges. Uh, they're great for this time of year though. So 
uh, a lot of people are coming out of quarantine. They are coming to our area, which I live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So people are hitting the beaches and these are great for summer shoes. Uh, so I'm gonna get these listed pretty quick. This style specifically, some of the other coach sandals, you know, sell for $25, $35. These may end up selling for that um, and that's okay. But this style in particular was selling for a little bit more, I guess, because of the wedge. And you can really wear it from like the beach vacation area um, out to dinner, out to a restaurant and still be casual. These sold for $110. I'm gonna list them for 50. Again, and, um, I, you know, would guess I'd probably get about 35. Again, this style was selling for a little bit more, so hopefully they do sell for a little bit more. All right, y'all, I'm at the bottom of my box. I have two more pairs to go. So if you've been counting, that's 13 pairs so far. I'm supposed to have 15. And next up are these super cute laser cut heels. They're little booties. They have a cute little tassel on the back. They are a faux suede. I do not believe these are real suede but they are by Lane Bryant um, and they're in really good condition. So I was really excited. Plus size brands like Lane Bryant and Torrid, if you don't know this, when you buy shoes from them, something to be aware of is that their shoes are automatically made wide. So if I'm buying plus size clothing, I don't have a wide foot. And so a lot of times if I buy shoes like this from a plus size company like Lane Bryant or Torrid, the shoes don't fit me because they're a little wider. Now that's good for some women and then some women not so much. So not every plus size person who loves Lane Bryant is gonna be able to wear these. So I will definitely note that in the listing that it is a little bit on the wide side as the style of their shoes tend to be. Anyway, it, it's a super cute style. Definitely will be able to make a profit on these. So these sold for 70, I'm gonna list them for 40. They're a size 10, which is also a great size. Um, and so I think that they're gonna do really well and they'll look super cute in my Poshmark closet. So ThreadUp definitely did a number on me. They surprised me and I'm so glad that Alicia talked up the shoe box all day on our trip to the Goodwill bins that I ended up getting it because the surprise was at the bottom of the box and it was dun 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 fry boots. So these are called the Veronica slouch boot. They are awesome because as you can see, they're knee high boots. They are motorcycle style. They have these little snaps that come undone for you to zip it all the way down. It snaps at the top. These are in excellent condition. They are supposed to look a little distressed. They're made that way. Um, but overall, they're just super cool. So these retail for $368. I'm gonna list them for 170. Comps on these were amazing. Everybody knows Fry, everybody loves Fry. So that was the big surprise at the bottom of my box. So definitely worth the $90. I am super happy with my box. So I really hope my girlfriends got uh, some awesome boxes and are really happy with theirs. I am 100% glad I got mine. I am 100% positive I'm going to make a nice profit on these. If my husband doesn't stop dancing, I'm gonna kill him. Stop! Jeez. So these were definitely the crown jewel of this box. Uh, between these and the Tory Burch shoes, um, I was happy with just those two. And that's why I said some of the lower end shoes, I'm not gonna be disappointed if they don't sell because I feel like I got enough in this box that I'm gonna make a really nice profit. So thank you, Thread Up. Okay guys, like I said earlier, my friends Alicia, Jesse and Donna all got the same box as me on the same day at the same time. I want you to go over and check out their videos too. I'm gonna link them all below so you can go and see their videos and see the difference between all the boxes we got and let us know what you think. Did one of us get a better box than the rest of them? Are they all pretty much equal? Like, what do you think? Do you think that these startup shoe boxes are amazing or we just got super lucky? If you're new here, I welcome you to subscribe to our channel. We have more than reselling content here, but if you're interested in the reselling, you can just watch our reselling playlist. Since it is the one year anniversary of me starting to resell full time, I will have a lot of reselling content on our channel this month. And so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you check some of that out. And thank you guys so much for stopping 
stopping by. I am so excited to have shared my box with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.